the world never gave a shit about him. He was always struggling just to get by. He still hoped one day things would be better. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. He was building a family here, doing it his own way, figuring it out as he went along. He was so nervous about it and so excited. And he brought me here to be part of that family. But he died because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive, to get through. They even changed me. I started to think about the future. Playing on stage yesterday was one of the best moments I can remember. Gabe knew that about me. He knew that if I could just play, just let myself love something, then one day I could be happy. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. forgotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero, a strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. A few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you were too selfish to say those words out loud. There was so much to lose. The love of your wife. The respect of your son. The comfort and ease you had walking around the world. All of that mattered more to you than those men's lives. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. 
I've seen the worst parts of you. And I forgive you. And the news is still coming in on the Titan mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Titan employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody, awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right Yeah, the silence is worse. I need to get some air. After summoning all my strength. and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop.
I've been playing a lot the last two days, trying to think things through. But I realize it's actually the opposite. When I'm playing is the only time I get to not think. Not think about Jed, or Gabe, or Haven, and wanting to move on from the pain, but not knowing how. Most of all, what I don't think about is me, because I've never been good at that. And suddenly, it's the only question that's left. So, I just keep playing. Berlin does sound pretty good right about now. Was Charlotte's response all my fault? Or would she have turned on me no matter what? They say I was powered by adrenaline that whole morning. Now I'm mostly powered by extra strength Advil. And I know now that my inaction in the face of injustice was itself a terrible wrong. And I know that I will never be able to undo the tremendous pain and loss I caused. I do not ask for forgiveness. The only person who could give that to me is... is gone. Thank you. There are no victories at the end of this. Just more painful truths. I'll never understand exactly what happened to me down there. But I'll always be grateful. I'm glad he held on to it. For whatever it's worth. You ever swing a pick before, Mr... Chen. John. And no. But I... I'm a hard worker, and I learn fast, and I don't mind long hours. You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? No, sir. Well, John, guess you're a hell diver now. Nothing like being called delusional by someone you trusted. That one really hurt. Must be rare that a local paper gets to break out the really big headline. Maybe Dad deserved everything he got, but I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. Hey, Steph. Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... <sighs> Fuck it. <laughs> I want to stay here too. I've never had anyone barge in to tell me that they wanted to be with me before. Yeah? How'd it feel?
You've, uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. All right, just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the Spring Fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road, the excitement of the unknown. Of course. That was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. <laughs> you really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, people who actually like you. Why would you give that up? That's true. <sighs> then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. Sorry. I know. But here's something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little, time does its thing. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home.
thoughts of Jed, of Typhon, even of me, begin to fade into the background. The rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Or maybe you never think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens, but one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it, you don't doubt it, or wonder what might have been. It's your life, the life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Where am I supposed to go? I don't have any other home. That is true. But you didn't have any home before coming here. And look what happened. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So? What do you think? I know what I want.
Hello everyone, I'm Alex Chen. <laughs> 